Hi everyone, and welcome to this demo on private AI with the Nilion SDK. In this case, we are going to show you how we can do private handwritten digit recognition with the Nilion SDK and everything running on the browser. What we are going to do first is train our model. This model has been already trained and we are going to use it to make inference. The first step is to draw a digit. So we are going to draw a digit here. This digit is going to be a nine, for example. And what we are going to do is obtain a neural network view. This is completely in the clear before sending it to our private computation. This neural network view makes it simpler to operate on the information because it has a lower dimensionality. The first thing we're going to do in order to privatize our data is to mask it. These maskings are what you see here, are three separate pieces of information that are completely random. And without having the three of them, we could not reconstruct the initial view. As you see here, we can compute the masked data as many times as we want. Then we are going to perform the inference. The inference is going to be performed on these three nodes, which are virtually running on your browser, and are going to produce three different results. These three different results are going to be aggregated to obtain the real prediction of the information. When we can click on Compute and Reconstruct, this information is being processed. And as you see here, we obtained a prediction that it is a nine. So Finally, we got a correct prediction. It also has two other predictions. These, other, these two other predictions are for the numbers that the neural network believed could be more likely after the nine. And in this case are an eight and a three. If you want to try, you can try without writing another number. For example, these four. We are gonna obtain our neural network view. We are gonna send the mask data and we are gonna run the inference again. As you see here, again, we obtain a correct result and it says that it's a four and then gives us another two guesses for the information. I hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time.